One of my favorite lines from the Polip world would have to be their Moltenic line, particularly Isul. My favorite part about his entire stock outfit would have to be this really beautiful multi-fabric pattern dress. <music> The dress that I'm referring to is currently on one of my custom girlies. Um, I actually forget all of the details of her because both her head and her body are from two different companies. But And the goal today is to try and not recreate because I don't really want a carbon copy of this dress, but sew a dress similar to this so inspired the polka dot i have i have a blue polka dot fabric it's not this exact fabric which is fine um but i think i need to figure out what the floral bit is gonna be i have some trim like this and i think i could probably suss up something for this bit of trim here that's on the bodice so yeah i figured i'd take you guys along with me because in the last video, I was talking about all of the sewing that I've been doing. And I mentioned in that video that my sewing process isn't really ever planned. And whenever I plan out a sewing project, I tend not to really get back to it. Like, I remember talking about a sewing project where I was going to make a jester outfit. I'm getting around to it slowly, but it's completely changed and, and it's because... I planned it. <laughs> it never seems to get from point A to point B quickly if I plan it. And this is one of those uh, projects where it's not really planned, but I have an idea. So maybe we can actually get through with this project. So let's have a look at some fabric, see if we can get close to this. All right, so this drawer here is my uh, fat quarters drawer. I also like to stick um, like scraps and stuff in here. Uh, yeah. So here's the fabric. All right. That one's still on the card. I know there's one in here. That's not, here it is. This one's not on the card. Uh, this is a fat quarter that I got years ago. Um, I love a good fat quarter moment and I do pick up several because I'm mostly a doll sewer. So I feel like this would be cute. I guess I should also talk about scale because this is obviously a different scale than this polka dot fabric, but that is okay because I don't plan on making this dress in this scale. I plan on making this dress in scale for American Girl pattern book. Um, this is the pattern that I'll be using. And uh, it's a free pattern that I found right here on YouTube. So I will link the video to this pattern in the description box. So you guys, if you wanna, if you wanna play around with this pattern, you can. I think this pattern is a lot of fun. This is the shape of the dress. Um, I'm not sure if I'll actually be doing sleeves or not. I haven't decided on sleeves or not because this dress does have long sleeves. Um, but with this being made for one of my American Girl dolls and American Girl's hands are kind of beautifully sculpted, but I don't really want to try and like push a cuff over their hands. I don't know. So I don't know if I'll be doing sleeves. I'm thinking it'll just be like that is what I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do because I do like to layer and um, putting the fluttery bits here, it's cute, I've done it, but I also think that that would make it sort of hard to like throw a cardigan over the dress. And that's kind of what I want to do because this dress was styled with um, a cardigan over when it was on a sole. And my pieces are already cut out and everything, but this is, this is the scale that I'm gonna be making the dress on. So these polka dots being bigger, shouldn't be a problem so i have that so 
Let's see if we can find... I need a blue floral print, which I bet I've got in here somewhere. I just don't know yet. I do have a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff. But that's not quite as blue. It's not even the same color blue. You see what I mean? Like, it's much lighter. And the pieces, there are pieces of, like, um shiny bits on this fabric i do like this fabric and have used it for several smart doll outfits um but i don't know if that would work for th maybe it could maybe it could because i do have trim like this but the trim colors are different like i've got i've got this Maybe that can marry it together. I have that trim. And I also have this trim here. See? So, I need to play around. I need to find... Uh, I need to find a floral print that's closer to this. Yeah. Let's look, let's look through here some more. Cause, so we have this. And I don't know if I actually have, oh, well, you know what? I've got this. I've been hoarding this stuff. It's paisley. It's actually not floral at all. That's cute, but I don't think that would work. Hmm. I actually think I'm going to have to sit and dig through all of my fabrics till I find something that's kind of closer. Because I definitely want the dresses to still be in the same mood. You know? I'm going to have to pull out my other fabric and see if I've got some floral in there. Yeah. Because most of these are like my spring colors. Well, that's just straight up purple. Hmm. I wonder. That's probably closer to the mood. I mean, this is like a... It, it is floral. There's definitely flowers and stuff on it. But... See, this is purple, though. I've got lots of purple fabrics, like lavenders and stuff, because it's my favorite color. Hmm. Let's see. If I were to... That's actually really cute. And I feel like this trim would sort of marry it together a little bit better. Because there, this trim has got all the colors in it for this fabric. Hmm. But see, then that kind of makes me want to use... I had a green polka dot in here. Is See, that would probably go way better. That is so fun. <laughs> that's so fun, but that's not the dress I'm trying to make. <laughs> okay, so I got distracted. I ended up, like, literally right after I turned off the camera from the clip that you just seen. And I immediately, I immediately got, like, swept away by a couple of fabrics. This scrap in particular is from some uh, best friend fabric that was gifted to me. It's a really nice fabric. I've lined some garments with it, but there was just enough to squeeze out a Barbie size skirt for the curvy body. Um, so I made I made a skirt out of this. Um, and then I saw some other some other scraps also from a previous project. I love this really blue like it's the prettiest blue floral fabric. And I was a bit 
annoyed that I didn't have enough to actually work with the fabric because I was looking for a blue floral and I found this. There wasn't enough to work with the, um, hold up, let me undo this so you guys can see. There wasn't enough of this fabric to actually make the dress that I want to make, which was honestly kind of frustrating. And I actually went online to see if I could find some more of this and I did find it, but I'm only finding fat quarters, which is how I bought this. Um, like I was saying previously in the video, I love a fat quarter and I always kind of like go ham and stock up on fat quarters because I am sewing for dolls, but did not have enough of this because I was thinking if I had enough of this, I will go and buy a polka dot fabric that's like this shade of blue and make the entire outfit this shade of blue. But unfortunately I didn't have enough. So I was like, well, out of my frustration, I'm gonna make a damn skirt. And I ended up making another skirt here. Really enjoyed it. She's probably one of my favorite Barbies. Love her, love this skirt, had a lot of fun. Um, also, because I couldn't find a floral fabric that was blue for the project that we are trying to make, I further got distracted and ended up making this entire look here. I'm not mad at it. I do love a good polka dot. I love all of like the rig rack and I did some stitching and this lace, some embroidery work and the dress here. I was gonna add something to the bodice, but I didn't wanna take away from the collar. This was actually a project that uh, um, I'm a part of this group chat and we craft together. Uh, this was one of our challenges that we did. We were working on collars and we were like embroidering or embellishing collars and stuff. And this is the one that I made to go with this look. Um, I like this dress. I like it a lot, but I also kind of feel like even though this polka dot fabric, I, I guess I'm kind of feeling like now that this polka dot fabric is in a garment, it's a, it's an entire realized look. Um, I don't know if I actually want to use it for the Multinic remake dress or inspired dress because I was reading over um, the description of the entire line and the designer that designed the line was inspired by um, their trip through Europe and everything. And that's kind of how we got the Multinic line and why there's so many like fun fabrics and textures and shapes. And I thought, you know what? In order to make a dress inspired by a garment, it actually does not have to be a carbon copy. So we already know that. So I kind of opened my mind a bit. Um, that way I didn't have to be like so stuck because being so stuck stuck in the idea of what the dress is supposed to be is actually what's killing all of the fun for me and why I got distracted. So I think I showed you guys my plans before cutting off uh, the clip that you, you previously saw with these two fabrics. I think I'm going to make something with these two fabrics. And I think I'm also going to include this trim here. Let me see. Let's try and do this. It's a real nice trim. I really like it. I think it's real cute. And I do think that it will marry very well to these two fabrics. I think it brings them together. I think I'll find a way to bring more black into this outfit. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. I think, I, I don't know if I have more black lace because the black lace that was just on the trim of the dress, the polka dot dress that I just showed you with the collar, this is all I have left, oh. I mean, bitch, hold up. Anyway, this is all I have left of the lace. So, you know what? I'm gonna have to put this on some glasses. 
for Halloween or something. I'm gonna make this dress. I think I'm gonna make this dress. I think I'm gonna work with the blue, not the blue, sorry. I think I'm gonna work with the green and some purples and figure out where I end up. I also have some of this. It's scrap lace. Um, I'm also working on another project as we speak. It's a jester outfit for my Haru casting Adori, which is a Yo SD outfit. And I was actually thinking of maybe using this, but perhaps I could use it on this outfit too, because there's purple in it. I'm still planning the other outfit. <laughs> God, I'm doing so much. All right, let's cut this outfit out and see what it looks like. And then if I like it, if I love it, then we'll just call it a win. <laughs> This fat quarter is actually not enough for me to fold here. Um, so I can't fold this fabric over and actually get the length of skirt that I need for this dress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this fat quarter in half. Um, probably a little bit shorter because like I was saying um, previously in some videos, I like to show off my dolls uh, legs and stuff. So I think I'm probably gonna cut maybe about that much of a skirt. Maybe, maybe that much of a skirt. Yeah, that way I can have like some leeway with the hem. Um, so what I'm gonna do, cut that, cut that amount of the skirt and one piece will be the front and then the other piece that I cut from the other half of the fat quarter, I will half again and that would be the two back panels on either side of the dress skirt. Yeah, so there'll be a seam. There'll be a seam. There'll be like a seam right here on the side of the dress. And it'll be pretty seamless. I mean, I've done this uh, a bunch of times where the seam kind of lines up with the bodice seam and it's beautiful instead of having like a, a seam right in the middle of the skirt. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do to create the skirt. So yeah, half, half, and then the back half will be cut in half to make the back of the skirt and everything. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to cut out the bodice in this pattern, I mean, uh, in, I'm gonna cut the bodice out of this fabric. Although, I kind of have this idea where I could take, um, I can mix these two fabrics together. That way the bodice is not like super duper stark. And that would actually help that trim marry all of this together. So I'm thinking what I might do is like one of these, just do like strips. Like cut the piece, like I said I was gonna cut a moment ago, and then do floral, polka dot, floral, polka dot, floral, polka dot. And then the back, I might do the same thing or it'll just be this fabric because it is in the back. Um, and then cut the bodice out of this and maybe could do like a cute little bow embellishment around the neckline. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do around the neckline yet, but I think that could be a possibility but first let me iron this and cut out the skirt so then I can figure out if I'm gonna actually be doing like patchwork
Okay, so I've kind of got a little design dilemma. Or I guess not really a dilemma. But I was kind of thinking, how cool would it be if I line this up here with the middle of this motif here and cut out the front bodice? That way that this is on the front bodice. I think that would be so beautiful. And I do think that this piece would marry everything together a little bit better. Okay, I did it. Look how cute that is. It's not even in a garment yet, but having that motif right in the middle of the bodice, that is stunningly beautiful. I, I'm so happy I did that. So what you're seeing now are my skirt pieces. Um, I was only going to do like these stripes with the fun fabric um, only in the front. I was going to pull on the tail and only do it in the front. But I decided instead of doing that, I just completed the entire skirt with this because I quite liked how the fabrics side by side really looked. So right now, as you can see, these are, these are raw edges. I'm doing a French seam. That way on the inside, it'll be nice and clean. Um, so none of this will actually be here when when I'm done with the skirt. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and enclose all of these raw edges into the French seam. And then I'll figure out a bodice lining for this. Honestly, a part of me, because this, this because these two fabrics are working really good together, part of me really just wants to like slap the polka dot fabric on the inside of this bodice as the lining. I might do that. I might do that because I feel like that would be so cute and it would make me feel really good every time I open up the dress to put it on a doll to see this fabric in there. Yeah, I think I might do that. And then with like the little bits and bobs like this because there were some pieces that weren't quite the right the right um, size that I wanted for the patches. Um, maybe I'll make these into bows or something. I don't know yet. Um, but this is where we are. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the skirt. Sometimes making YouTube videos could be uh, a bit odd, <laughs> especially when I'm trying to take you guys along with me through my process. So it is another day. Um, and before I called it quits last night and went to bed, I completed the finishing insides for my skirt. And it still looks a little crazy because I've not finished any of the edges or added any um, trim or anything like that, which is my favorite part of constructing um, most dresses. So I'm kind of saving that for probably a day where I have the day off um, because I don't like anything getting in the way of breaking into all of the fun that I have decorating my skirts. And that includes being dog tired from work. <laughs> um, and that's kind of where we are right now. I'm home after work. I cut out the bodice and the lining um, last night while working on that skirt. And I left it. I just left it. And then that meant that when I got in tonight, I could just start construction on the bodice which I've always already started doing like I've already started putting the bodice together and um there's just a few more steps that I would take before this you know looks like a, a finished bodice which is what I'm about to do now I've completed the bodice it's adorable new day I decided that I wouldn't leave any scraps of this fabric so i actually attached two fabrics well 
two pieces of the same fabric to amount to the same amount of skirt here. And I think it's just gonna be a double skirt. Um, I'm not sure if this will be a double skirt in the way that I attach them opposite of each other. That way you wouldn't actually see the the join here with the bodice. Um, might do that, might not do that. I do like the print and usually when I like the print, I like to showcase it in the in design. But I'm at that place where I'm about to figure out what I want to put on the skirt. So far, I have this, what is this? This isn't trim. I think this is, it's not bias tape either. Um, I don't know what to call it, but I have it and I have just enough um, for it to go across one of these skirts and I'm deciding which one because I kind of had this idea that I would put it on the bottom here because it's got literally every color that's in this fabric on this tape here. Oh yeah, I guess I could call it a binding tape. I think I'm gonna sew this on one of these skirts and then from there I can finish finishing the skirts and stuff and then I'll hand gather and then we'll put it on, on this bodice. <laughs> I went ahead and sewed this skirt up. I think it looks really cute. So after doing this skirt, I decided on that other skirt that I would add something to make it really cute. I wasn't exactly sure. But then like I found this stuff. Yeah, it's already pre-gathered. This was actually given to me by Summer, I think. And I left enough to use on another project of mine that I've got cut out. And I'm really excited to use that because then it'll be done. But on the other skirt, the one that was the same fabric as the bodice, I put that trim on it. This is so cute to me. Like this is like the kitschiest, most adorable, handmade cuteness in the world. And this is what's going to be on the inside of the skirt. So when you open the, the dress, you'll see the green polka dots and this. And that makes me super happy. But I um, trimmed both sides. This is the side that's going to be facing inward towards the back side of the outer skirt. Um, but I added some trim there too, just for like poof factor, because a part of me kind of wants to put some tool on this to make it more of like a petty coat, but then I'm like, then I've got a gather tool. I don't want to gather tool, <laughs> but yeah. So that's that's that. I did it off camera because it was kind of like one of those decisions that I made on the fly. It wasn't planned, which none of this shit is planned really, <laughs> but I'm excited because here, let me show you guys how to look once they're layered. Yeah, so just like a little peakage underneath that lace there. And the colors are quite muted in here because I've actually not got any light on except for my wonderful window. But yeah, this is kind of where I'm sitting with that. And I think that's so cute. It's so cute. It's so mixed match and fun. Definitely one of the things I loved about the Motenic outfit the most, it was just so mix matched and like almost homemade looking and I really like that. So I think having this just kind of like peek under is so cute. It's so cute because it's kind of like offbeat but it totally still goes because of this fun fabric. Could not, could not have chosen a better fabric. The skirt is too short. So instead of doing my original idea, it's still gonna be an inner skirt, but I'm going to attach it to the outer skirt and then use some like nylon webbing on the skirt to hide the seam. Yeah, to hide the stitch line. And then I'm gonna gather, yeah.
I think it's, she's more or less finished. Yeah, I think I like this. I don't feel like adding anything else to the dress. It's completely done. I think it looks really good, both on the inside and on the outside. Oh God, I love how all these fabrics came together. I guess the only thing now is just to figure out what doll I'm gonna put it on. I didn't have a doll in mind when I was sewing this. I just had my inspiration, which this dress looks nothing like the dress and outfit that I was inspired by. And I think that's okay because all of the kitschiness and everything that I was really enjoying about my inspiration, I feel like is here. Let's figure out what doll. One of the American Girl shelves and not sure who I'm going to put this on. I'm actually thinking her because she's got green in her hair and there's an awful lot of green in this outfit. Yeah, I think. I was either thinking her or way up here on the other or her. Yeah. It's gonna be one of them. I think it's gonna either be her or the girl down here. Her. I'm gonna try it on her first. See how she likes it. Actually hoping she doesn't have any staining. I haven't changed her clothes since I lived in New York City. Yeah, so I'm really hoping she doesn't have any staining. Granted, all of these clothes are um, American Girl brand. So I don't, like, that's why I haven't changed her. I don't think the AG brand clothes stain them, but it's definitely something I'll be worried about. So far, I don't see any staining on her feet and arms. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm hoping there isn't any standing from these pants. I can't believe I haven't dressed her in literal years. I remember when I got her from the store, I was so excited to get her and everything. And I put her in this outfit because she's like my gamer girl. And it kind of just stuck, like quite literally. Like I have not changed her clothes since. I put her in this outfit. All right. So just like dust, but no staining. That's good. I was actually really worried about that too. I put this really nice green shirt on her and then she'll wear that underneath. Underneath her outfit. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna put with this. I haven't purchased any any shoes in some time now. I need to get some Velcro for my selling. I feel like it's so much easier and clothes actually get finished with closures when I have Velcro, opposed to like snaps. Cause putting snaps on just feels like a, a separate task. I mean, it's still sewing, but it feels like a separate task to me. So I always end up sewing a whole bunch of stuff That looks so good on her. That looks so good on her. I need to do her hair and figure out shoes.
Look how cute it turned out. Oh, I love her in this too. She seems really comfortable. Almost like I took too goddamn long to make her a dress. <laughs> yeah, she's, she was in that outfit for so long. But I really enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed going on kind of like a tiny little journey. I didn't, I actually didn't record every part of my step. But I figured I'd take you guys somewhat along. I'm trying to get better at following my process so that when people ask me how I'm getting from point A to point B, I can actually tell them. So this kind of helps me stay present in the moment when I'm doing stuff instead of my brain just shutting off. Because that, that's what happens when, ho when I'm hobbying and doing things I really love. My brain stops collecting data. <laughs> um, so, and I'm so happy that to finally use these shoes. I've had these shoes for such a long time. And this is the first time I've been able to actually put it with an outfit that I like. And it really goes. It's like she's going to go gardening in this outfit. Um, but yeah, before I finish the video, I wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be hosting a hand make sale. So what that is, is just a sale where I'm selling all the things that I've handmade, that I've sewn or crochet or knitted or anything like that. And I let go of pieces that are part of my personal collection, um, but things have piled up. And I'm gearing up for another one. Um, the time I'm filming this video, the following week. So when you guys see this video, the very next week is when I'll be posting things up for sale. I'm trying to tell you guys about it because I have had way too many people pop into my DMs and tell me that I haven't given anybody any kind of heads up if they want to pick something up. So I'm trying to do that. So yeah, and you know what? Me and this girl will show you guys our favorite comment from the last video. What exactly would you like to see me sew? Yeah, I really want to know. If you guys could have me sew something, what would it be? Yeah, put it in the comments. I want to see that. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in our next one. Bye, y'all. Y'all, my doll looks so good. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs>